Hey guys and welcome to a new video. It has been over a year now from my last video and for those who were asking, once iPadOS 14 is out, I will make a new video about how you can make a texture pack on your iPad. Things are already evolving and I am sure the newest version of iOS will bring more changes. In this video I will focus on a recurring problem with one of the most visible blocks in the game, the grass block. It is literally everywhere, so you might want to give it your own touch when you create your own texture pack. And maybe you take a look into the texture files and notice that there are several files corresponding to the grass block. You got grass carried, grass side carried and there's grass side which is also the side and looks kind of weird and confusing. It is grey and doesn't really look like grass. There is also transparency applied and if you look at the file type you'll notice that it is a TGA file unless most of the other texture files. This seems like a rather obscure file type and I cannot teach you a lot about it. But I will show you at least how to get this texture done. So here's how to deal with it. You could use GIMP or Paint.net on your computer. For this video I'm using Affinity Photo on my iPad. Once you have made your own grass side carried, you copy the file and name it grass side. You open it with your graphics program and do the following changes. With the selection tool, you select all the pixels that represent the actual grass. Like this, I selected all the green pixels. You then proceed to copy the selection into a new layer. So we have two layers, the original layer with the whole texture and a new layer with only the grass. Now, depending on the program you are using, you will look for the black and white option and you apply it to the grass. The original layer with the whole texture will still stay colored, but, and this is a very important step, you have to adjust the transparency to 1%, like this. Once you've done this, your file is ready and you're good to go. Now you can go into the export options of your program and select TGA. You save the TGA file into your texture folder. And you're done! Now we're finishing off. So this is our texture pack folder. We zip it and once it's zipped we can turn it into a .mc pack. I'm doing this by using a shortcut that I've created. Now we copy the MC pack, like this, and we go into our game folder. So here's games, com.mojang, and there's the resource pack folder. We open it and we paste our texture pack. We tap on it and the game will open and import the texture pack. Now we will create a new world and see if everything has worked out. And this looks good. As you can see, our textures have been correctly applied. I hope this video has been useful to you. If you have any question or suggestion, you can leave them down in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon.